What is up internet? Uh, I have gotten some questions uh, asking me about my weathering. Uh, so I'm going to talk through my process of weathering and just show you uh, the different stages. So obviously I start off with my base coat here. Uh, you can see I use a little bit of late, liquid latex to get my stuff. This is before I do any kind of weathering whatsoever. And then this second process here, this is done with uh, three different wet washes. A wet wash is uh, basically water, paint, and a little bit of Windex in there. And I use, uh, I use three colors for my wet washes. I use white and black. I use a burnt sienna. I don't know if you can see that or not, or if it's going to focus, but that is a burnt sienna on there. I don't know if there's a any kind of numbering on here, but there you go, burnt sienna. And then finally, uh, the burnt umber, burnt umber. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, I do three washes. I keep them in a jar uh, so I can be consistent and it looks like I could actually make a little bit more of the burnt umber. And then what I do is I have these sponges here, different different textures and what have you, different sizes. And then uh, basically you'll take your wet wash, you'll dip it in there, and then on this piece you'll just come through here, dab it on here, let it set, and let it dry then come with some paper towels and just dab 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 your piece let it let don't really worry about wiping these little uh creases and stuff like that let your stuff naturally sit in there and just dab if you want more weathering someplace uh you can you can wipe but try not to wipe try to try to always dab and then when you get to this part, uh, I actually do a, a technique uh, like all this right here and like all this right right in here. This is from uh, this was from actually using. Um, let's see what did what did I use there? Oh, I used the earth brown. And then what I would do is I take the earth brown and I'd put it up in here like any of the spots that I, I thought there was mud mud at, like right around this, this visor. And I just paint that on there, let it set for a little while, uh, maybe, like, maybe like a half hour, maybe a little bit more, depending on how much weathering you want. And then I take a wet cloth, and then I come in and I rub some of that off closer to the edges. Leave on what you want to leave on, but just try to, Try to blend everything together uh, by rubbing it, and then you can use you can try to use different colors. Like if you want some something uh, lightened, like over here, this was this was a little bit too dark here, so I actually came in with a little bit of white, and I kind of filled that in. I did come in with the black in some spots, so just wh whatever you feel your armor needs uh, depending on what your trooper is doing is uh, what you'll be doing to your armor but I do like the the dry method after doing the wet you can like really punch in uh, some dirt all this was from uh, the dry letting it set there and then I also I don't know if you can see on these spots I did put some uh, some of that earth tone on here just to kind of highlight that on the edges and knock down my ed edges quite a bit. You can probably see a lot more there. But all that's uh, brown and that's just to basically hide uh, some, of the, some of the black spots a little bit more. So just so you can see. But yeah, three, three step process prep with your liquid latex. Come in with your with your wet washes, uh, three of them. Let them let them set a little bit before you uh, paper towel them. Then let this whole piece dry. 
Then come in with your uh, your dry acrylics. Put those. Put the uh, browns and the whatever colors you want to use. I've been kind of using mud and more earthy colors, thinking about being in the jungle and stuff like that. And then I've been coming and putting those uh, wherever, and then just coming in and wiping it back off. And then uh, finally, once you have your weathering where you want, get some uh, clear matte spray paint and just paint it, paint it uh, with the with the clear to lock in your colors because uh, the acrylic uh, probably I should tell you guys this little trick here the acrylic will come off with water and just the more the harder you rub the more that will come off so so keep that in mind it kind of makes working with acrylics a little bit better uh, in my opinion just because you can get some different uh, different little things on on your uh, on your armor depending on what you want but hopefully that helps so you can see everything I'll go over this again stage one stage two stage three so uh, I'm actually gonna wait to do all my dry stuff till I get all my armor pieces done I'm gonna lay everything out and then I'm going to, to uh, visualize in my mind where everything's actually supposed to go uh, and probably work more from the bottom up. Uh, the helmet's a little bit dirtier because I just kind of assume my face would probably be in the mud. But uh, yeah, just try to put some thought into it. Uh, think about where you've been or wh where you would be. And uh, just uh, have fun with it. Prep your area well. Use, you know, protect what you need to protect. And uh, yeah, hope that helps out. Talk to you guys later.